Gaw was a powerful leader in Oyo Eel. Everyone feared and respected him like he was a god. He became part of the Supreme Court, making important decisions for the region. When he disagreed with the Alafan, king, about market land, he used black magic to send parrot eggs and killed the king. Ga then made sure the new Alafan, Prince Awanbinju, agreed with all his terms, showing that Ga was the real ruler. Ga even forced the new king to bow to him, and when he refused, Ga killed him with a snake bite. Ga became known as the kingmaker and kingbreaker, choosing and removing kings as he pleased. When Alafan Agbolwahe disagreed with Ga, he was hanged. No one dared to challenge Ga, except Majugbi. Majugbi wasn't afraid of Ga and constantly challenged him. He knew black magic too and knew how to get under Ga's skin. At a wedding, Majugbi decided to humiliate Ga by setting up a fight between Ga's son, Oyamekan, and one of the king's best fighters, Edi. Oyamekan loved the bride, Agbanyan, and seeing her marry someone else was already painful. He was also a new warrior and wasn't strong enough to win. He got badly beaten, and his brother Anasigun, who tried to save him, was killed by Edi. Oyamekan survived but was severely wounded, making Ga furious. Ga, wanting revenge, used his juju magic to try and kill Majugbi. But Majugbi, being skilled in juju as well, reversed the curse, paralyzing Ga from the neck down. Even though Majugbi died, Ga suffered greatly too. Ga's health got worse, and he couldn't wield his power anymore. Agbanyan became a widow with a newborn. Oyamekan wanted to marry her, but Ga decided to marry her himself. Ga's real intention was to sacrifice Agbanyan using his juju to regain his strength and cure his paralysis. Sadly, Agbanyan was killed for this purpose. Oyamekan lost the love of his life because of his father's selfishness. Ga caused many deaths, including the Alafans and Princess Agbanyan. After Majugbi's death, Abiodun, Agbanyan's father, became the new Alafan. Furious with Ga, Abiodun planned revenge. During the Oran festival, Abiodun and Areona attacked Ga's clan, killing everyone in a brutal bloodbath. They captured Ga and burned him alive. Ga tried to scare everyone by saying his death would end the empire, but no one cared, they just wanted him dead. Oyamekan and Abiodun's grandson, Oluyole, were the only survivors. Oyamekan fled to Eloran, where Ayele helped him survive by giving him a new identity, Jibangbalasa. Oyamekan lived to tell the tale of his father's reign of terror. The story of the House of Ga.